chatbots have been around, for example, Siri or Alexa but they're not what they seem to be. The real potential of chatbots is to do everything we do as humans and do it better, so why not use them to make our lives easier? There are many applications they can be helpful in such as generating marketing material and sales copy, automating customer support and help desks, writing articles or scripts, assisting during interviews, providing legal advice, generating code for you when you have no knowledge of coding. Create a weight loss plan Be a personal assistant Mental health support Market research CL strategist Write movie scripts Essays and much more This is now possible thanks to ChatGPT and I Released on the 30th of November 2022 In this episode we'll dive deep into all of that And also give some wild examples of how this AI is being used today If you're a budding entrepreneur Wondering what the next big thing is you Might want to stick around for this one because OpenAI CEO has some pretty interesting insight into the future of all industry. You are watching Financial Glitch FTX. I'm Kim Glitch. The chat GPT from OpenAI is the most advanced AI chatbot available. With 1 million users in just 5 days, it's clear that the ability to ask open ended questions about any topic and receiving a response that isn't hand coded has a clear market with virtually unlimited demand. Chat GPT is an improved version of GPT 3.5, which OpenAI calls GPT 3.5. The main difference is that they've added human feedback in the training process. This is called supervised reinforcement learning. In essence during the training multiple versions of responses by the AI were ranked by quality from best to worst by the humans and the AI is digitally rewarded when it improves. The model is then fine-tuned and the process is repeated a few times. This method ends up producing an AI language model that's 100 times smaller than GPT-3 but still performs better. There are other steps but that's the long and short of it. The real breakthrough was involving human hands on time during the training process. You don't have to be the world's best writer to get your message across. In fact, the following is an example of someone who mentors an individual with poor literacy skills. He created a GPT-powered Gmail account that could essentially turn his client's poor writing into a professional interaction. A researcher recently tested the effectiveness of counseling bot and found it was better at helping people with mental health issues than any other chat app on the market. As I systems infiltrate society, perhaps critical thinking will be more valued. Chat GPT presents an intriguing future of a machine that can not only help you cheat on your exams but can also provide detailed knowledge to anybody that asks for it. The chat GPT software is very solid. It generates essays that are better than the bottom 20% of students in a similar course. Who aren't lazy and just want to cheat. Chat GPT uses state of the art deep learning techniques and can also answer questions about your essay, which shows an understanding of the material. However, this software is still a baby, so it needs more development before it can become truly autonomous. I is breaking all the barriers and changing our lives in small, yet significant ways. Chat GPT is just one of the many AI powered interfaces that can empower humans through collaboration. So, what are you waiting for? Expand your knowledge and embrace a new era of efficient business interactions. So if you're an everyday person that doesn't care about the intricate details of knowledge this next example should make it clear why this technology can be useful to everyone. A user effectively asks this AI to be his personal trainer given his weight and age it calculated his total daily energy expenditure and gave an explanation he then asked it what calorie deficit he would need to lose 15 pounds in 3 months it then created a meal plan, recipes on how to cook it a table of the weekly meal plan and a grocery list of ingredients, and of course people are using it to craft interactions for online dating. One of the most interesting thing about GPT is the way it uses thousands of open source AI libraries to create language models that are more powerful than anything we've seen to date. The result is an AI system that can potentially be used for a lot more than just answering questions such as creating custom search engines and immediately translating speech into text in real time. If you've been following tech news lately, it's probably no surprise that AI is becoming ubiquitous in our everyday interactions with technology. If you're new to the world of AI and machine learning, ML, 
we've put together a quick PDF guide to help get you up to speed on the basics. Human beings possess natural language processing, NLP, capabilities, but machines can't read text or interpret human speech like we do. They need to be trained through supervised learning or natural language processing, NLP. Guess what I used GPT to script today's video, so look at that we can make use it. I see how it's tempting to anthropomorphize it but in the end it's just a neat party trick. Chat GPT-3 is a large language model, and as seen in those previous examples, large language models tend to be unpredictable and unstable. This makes them hard to control, but also they can be horrible for factual correctness. Sometimes Chat GPT hallucinates coherent but nonsensible answers for example, one user asks which is heavier. 1 kilogram of beef or 1 kilogram of compressed hair the eye says that the beef weighs more and goes on to give a confident explanation of why while being completely wrong, be honest, plenty of humans do this too but regardless this is a great example of why this thing shouldn't be used for anything important this 1 kilogram mistake didn't happen for me but I guess that's the thing with these large language models that sometimes they can just say strange things on off chances aside from this generic problems it's clear to see that this is an actual disruptive technology unlike all the other tech scams out there that claim to be more broadly and this is just me thinking I think we're surpassing the information age and entering the knowledge age the information age came with the advent of computers the web and the internet now I is making sense of that information and giving us artificial knowledge knowledge differs from pure information because by definition it requires skill and an understanding of a subject at this stage it's mimicking the that skill and mimicking that understanding but that just might be enough in any case this is something that all the technology of the information age just couldn't do some even go as far as to call access to such technology a human right so what do you guys think do you think this is the coolest thing in the world or are you a little bit worried by this and if so what field of work are you leave a comment and don't forget to sub Videos are uploaded each day once again. M. Kim Glitch with Financial Glitch FTX.